Hey guys, I'm back. Now as much as I love glowy summery looks, I also love any excuse to put a smoky eye with a dramatic lip. Now these beautiful chocolate tones complement Tierra's skin so beautifully and they're perfect for a sexy date night. Now before we get started, if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss any further videos from my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like tutorials like this one. So let's get started. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The better your skin looks, the better your makeup looks. So proper skin prep is key. I'm spraying Tierra's face with rose water for a quick blast of moisture. Next, I'm locking in that moisture with a gel-based moisturizer. To ensure that the foundation glides on as smoothly as possible, I'm applying a silicone-based primer that will smooth out the skin's texture. To keep from piling on the foundation to perfect, I'm first correcting any darkness and hyperpigmentation with a peach color corrector. To further even out Tierra's skin, I'm applying her foundation starting in the center of the face with a flat foundation brush, then blending out to the outer edges with a dampened beauty blender. To brighten, I'm applying a long wearing concealer to the center of the face and blending out with that same beauty blender. To add depth and warmth, I'm using a darker foundation around the perimeter of her face and in the hollows of her cheeks. Next, I'm setting everything in place with a loose, translucent powder to stop creasing and lock everything into place. Now that the face is balanced, I'm filling in Tierra's amazing brows using a wax-based brow pencil. Now back to the face, I'm applying a bronze blush to the apples of Tierra's cheeks to add a little more color. Now let's create these gorgeous eyes. To ensure that the eyeshadow stays in place and doesn't crease, I'm applying a long wearing eyelid primer to the mobile lid and crease. I'm starting off with the lid color, a waterproof cream shadow. Only apply it to the mobile lid and then blend it into the crease. To add smokiness, I'm layering various shades of brown into the crease of the eye and onto the lower lash line, starting from light to dark. Now to define the eye and add a little more smoke, I'm smudging a black coal liner onto both the upper and lower lash lines. To finish off the eyes, I'm adding copious amounts of mascara and my absolute favorite pair of Ardell lashes. Now I wanted Tiara's cheeks to stand out just a teeny bit more, so I went back in with a little bit more of that bronze colored blush from before. And then to highlight her amazing bone structure, I'm adding a, my favorite finely milled highlighting powder by Becca to the high points of her face. Now for my favorite part of this look, the lips. I'm lining them with a deep berry lip liner and blending that liner in before filling them in with a matching lip pigment. These pigments are amazing. They are long lasting and vegan. If you wanna check them out, look them up, Pink Digger on Instagram. 